Now let's uh, switch away from Ola I know. Let's talk about our two left backs now. Uh, Zaidu Sanusi and Calvin Bassi. Contrasting weekend for both. Why I said that? Because Calvin Bassi. Yeah, the yeah, season. You know, uh, Rangers, young, men's young player of the season. Uh, what, what, what a season he's had. He's not, he's not played of the three seasons in the top flight with Rangers. Uh, he, he's won the uh, uh, men's young player of the season. Uh, they're still in the Europa League semi-final. I think they're coming up against, is it Leipzig? A, a very tough fixture for, for Rangers there. Uh, for Zaidu Sanusi and Porto, uh, they lost their unbeaten run uh, this past weekend. They lost uh, one nil, uh, but they're in the Portuguese Cup final. So Zaidu Sanusi might just uh, be getting his hand on the trophy again this season. Now, looking at these two uh, left backs, uh, Zaidu Sanusi was dropped for Calvin Bassi for that game in Abuja. There are reports that he picked up a knock. But some people have come out to say, you know, Ekwafon was just trying to change things. And no, he did pick up a So, knock. you know, this was the same card. Rangers Basel. Leipzig. Rangers Leipzig, yeah. So, I got it right. So, Leipzig. So, in- interesting fixture, look, you know, to look forward to in the Europa League uh, semi-final this week. Now, uh, Basi and uh, Balogun. This was the same Basi. A lot of Nigerians, uh, you know, clamored for a uh, raw to cap him when he called him up for that CR game. Remember, he was called. But he wasn't capped you know people were saying why you call him up and you, you don't give him an appearance you don't cap him you don't play him but now people are castigating the same bassi for that game against uh, ghana in abuja that he had a poor game that he shouldn't near the team again he shouldn't get called up this and that and all that now looking at these two left back um you know there are no no more difference in their age no more difference out there but um you know what do you make of these two uh, left back moving forward for the super Eagles? uh are you do you do you have should I say do you have a preference or but just generally what do you make of uh, these two left back Kevin Bassi and Zaidu Sanusi? Uh, I think Nigeria is blessed to have Zaidu Sanusi and Kevin Bassi on our team. Uh, a lot of ignorant folks. The thing is we we pay a lot of us pay heed to too many ignorant folks talking about footballers. People who don't know anything about football who just want to have opinion. I don't know how you bring a player into a team who's not played in this team for so long and then all of a sudden you say they shouldn't come near the team again. You shouldn't come near the team that you have another, you have a Roberto Carlos somewhere or you have a Cafu. <laughs> so, no, because when we say some of these things, when people come out and say this, some of these things, I just look at the stupidity uh, that we give ear to most times in our space. And these people are saying this thing with sounding like the authority. Bossy was one of the scapegoats from that game. <laughs> Nigeria, I, I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. Nigeria is a scapegoat country. I don't know who taught us that, but it is high time we get past that behavior and stop sca- scapegoating people. You know that every time Nigeria have lost a game, we've always scapegoated somebody. There's got to be somebody to scapegoat. So bad that we lost to Paraguay in the World Cup. Nigerians said that the 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 thing uh, there's this thing that uh, Shilavet, Jose Manuel Shilavet was wearing on his mm. neck, that FIFA discovered that uh, there's charm on it that the match was going to be replayed, even after the World Cup had ended. You know, we always keep good somebody, even the game against Brazil, uh, uh, Italy, uh, at the World Cup in '94, Nigerians were like, Oh, see, they wanted to blame Olise, they couldn't blame Olise, they wanted to blame Iguavon. Next thing they said that the referee was uh, biased, uh, two, two players were injured, they didn't do anything. So, we've always kept good people, we've followed the history of our football, we've always kept good people, but uh, it behoves on the new generation to get rid of that. And it is the media, actually. The media, we created a media that uh, tried to be the low budget version of the British media. So, if we lose game, we must kill somebody, must kill one or two persons. When England lost the Euros, they said it's Bukayo Saka, that's a problem. They should go back to the country where they come from. They shouldn't play for England again, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, people were wise enough to quickly realize that this is wrong that they're doing, and then they changed the narrative. You saw the way fans of every club were supporting them. And they're, they're, the English people have learned now to protect their game. Look at what the Liverpool fans did to Cristiano Ronaldo. 10, 20 years ago, they won't do that. They would even be mocking him that he lost yeah. his son. Who cares? But times have changed. Seven minutes into the game, you see people, you know, you know, uh, supporting Cristiano Ronaldo. Times have changed, but we have not changed. We are still in that place where we must blame people. There's nothing wrong with Kevin Buffy's Buffy's performance in the game. There was not time where we suffered any attack or go threat attack from his position. There was also it was the guy who won the penalty. The the penalty that gave us the goal. It was the one that won it. It was Lukman. Uh, Okay, sorry, yeah. Ademola Lukman. But it was a combination of play between him and, and Ademola Lukman. Yeah. And then there was also good play. It was when Moses Simon came in that he started to struggle because of the way Moses Simon plays. Okay? 
he, it, it's a different kind of player. I'm not even trying to blame Moses Simon. We already know that Moses Simon's weakness is the fact that he doesn't bring in good crosses. Having said that, you can't blame Kevin, Kevin Bassi. Zaidu Sanusi, fantastic player playing in top competition uh, for, for uh, his club in Portugal. I don't think that we should even try to have a conversation around people. There are certain conversations I don't want to have. The Amokashi and uh, Paul Bassi's conversation of uh, let's let go of the born in the abroad players i don't that's the most senseless conversation anybody's ever raised especially when you remember that amokashi have children that are born in the abroad and then uh, you see pobasi is running a club where he wants club from abroad to come and sign his players so that's one then those players who those people who always blame people if it's not maduka today it's francis Uzo. if it's not francis Uzo, it's uh, 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 kevin bassi if it's not kevin bassi it's usime why did he play bicycle kick they should stop they should just stop it, it doesn't make sense when an argument doesn't make sense it becomes annoying so i think at some point we should look at these players and say nigeria as good as we think we are we played against a team that is better than us historically and anything ghana have always been on top of us yes we want to win we said a whole lot of things including me before the match but ghana head to head is way ahead of us ghana is a better footballing nation ahead of us what what anyhow you want to look at it maybe recently they've not been winning anything but ghana will match nigeria any day anytime whether at youth level or at senior level the only thing we have ahead of ghana is the olympic gold medal in football other than that ghana is a country as small as they are compared to our size is a country that will match us any day that said italy multiple world cup winner i had not qualified for the world cup back to back i don't see the italian media or the italian fans blaming any italian player Ital italy created 35 chances against Macedonia, not macedonia not macedonia before that game we only know them from the apostle paul's missionary <laughs> journeys in the bible but still one way or the other that's the country that knocked out italy, italy yeah. a world cup giant from the qualifiers the same italy that not qualified before the same italy that won the euros okay a couple of months ago but the, 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 they're not blaming people. They're not banning people for com complaining from the national team and all that. Who we should learn from this and move on. I don't think there's a problem with Kevin Bassi. Kevin Bassi have played in the centre-back and left-back position for Rangers. At a time where Rangers are really, really dominating. They're playing in the league, uh, are competing for the league title. Also, in the semi-finals of the Europa Cup, when was the last time a team from Scotland get all the way to the quarter-finals? I'm not talking about semi-finals. They're in semi-finals now. Playing, they've knocked out Borussia Dortmund. Kevin yeah. Bassi was in that game home and away and Kevin Bassi have played some top styling performances for his team this season and then you keep putting out this kind of comment making them feel like oh they don't deserve to play in the national team you think when they come now they will not play with their whole heart they will just come and honor the invitation because they've already committed themselves they know they can't change their nationality anymore but you need to make them feel welcome a team yeah you can criticize a team nobody says don't criticize a team but don't victimize players victimization is not one of the things that i like and i think that that's where we're going with this victimization nobody can come out and say okay this is the error he made that led to go so why are we really faulting him there it was it true on goal one-on-one -on -one and he didn't score the goal uh, did he have a, an opportunity to pass the ball to his striker was in open place and he didn't pass the ball this is what we did to sam hey he didn't pass one ball to rashidi akini then we should kill him we, we can't keep doing this thing it's not working for us we should stop it we should look for new ways to support our team all right you know in, interesting conversation that calvin bassi I, I think he just needs time uh, with the national team even though you, you might want to argue there, there isn't much time but, but i think the next couple of games i um, might just give him that time to settle in properly into the team as well so it, you know is is not yet he, he admitted to you know adjusting to the weather african football and all that so i think he needs more time i mean he's talented no doubt versatile player he can be very key for the super eagles moving forward and now that he's committed uh, i think he's going to have a long-term future uh, with the super eagles so that's really young. that thing you just said is one of the things that almost everybody was catching on that uh, can you imagine they came and they said they can't breed but all of us go to those of us who are ma who manage or are privileged to go play in europe complain we all complain of the cold, of the cold. <laughs> how come that's not the problem how come the clubs don't say oh this is the reason why we shouldn't bring players from africa they don't even know how to deal with the cold those of us who goes to play those nigerians who go to play in england don't understand why you should be playing football during winter holiday but did that stop people from playing us so because somebody came out and speak the truth that oh playing here if you're coming from see kalajayo went to italy and came back and was complaining of how he was sweating more since he came back because he was coming from the court and it's normal if you go from your house that have ac 
to a car that have ac and go to office that have ac you do that continuously for a period of time and then that routine stop you see that you sweat profusely but you compared to the person who normally deals with the heat that you have on a regular basis you'll be wondering why is this guy sweating and we're not in the same nigeria so if somebody complains about the heat which we all complain about even those of us who are born bred and raised and never traveled out of this country complain that, oh, oh boy the sun is hotter now or the weather is this the weather is that too why is it that somebody who came out to say they, 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 they have a truth the weather is hot yeah it is it is hot it's hot hell it's not like these guys were faking it and then you will not pick on that as an excuse to not say you want to discriminate against them it, it's i don't know it doesn't I, I don't see the sense in it okay when we're holding this conversation i don't see the sense in it and i know you know this is a new trend once you don't join the bandwagon people say they've given you money yeah i i i, I that's that's a conversation that people like to hold oh that you have collected money yeah, people you're can in their payroll. yeah <laughs> you're in their, people can have that conversation but when you're bringing a an argument bring your facts don't use that as the excuse for the conversation you want to hold just know that if players say the even players that are born in europe complain about winter complain about the cold players that born raised in europe talk about cold that's what we wear and glow sometimes it's difficult to play in such weathers so i don't understand where somebody comes and say that the the air year is hot this is somebody who's been growing up in england for a very long time is he not supposed to talk about the climate change the weather change that is is facing here the culture change that is facing it's part of the conversation that we should have but having it in a negative form and using it to discriminate against these players or using it against them it's one of those things that i will not support or stand for right you know brilliantly said and uh, hopefully calvin bassi uh, doesn't get discouraged and you know gets to do well for the super eagles on moving forward you are listening to a tv radio